Good morning, everyone. I am awake and it's time to get ready for class. Now, luckily this morning, I did have an independent period, which is like a godsend in second year. So grateful for those, because it means I get to catch up on a bit of sleep and catch up on any work that I missed out on or didn't do the day before. I've got singing, second period, then lunch, and then after lunch, we've got fights on film for four hours, so yeah. Gonna go have some breakfast, get ready for class, come with me and see what it's like in the day in the life of an acting and stage combat student, year two. Maddie and Zach, with her porridge. And we're in our new house. I mentioned to the vlog yesterday that we've moved into a new house. We're no longer in the studio. I've just dropped something out. We're sorry, it's hard for that. Mm -hmm. Maddie, how have you been since the summer? Absolutely grand. Absolutely grand. This chair is smoking. <laughs> we have a couple of broken chairs in our house. They tend to like slope down a little bit, so we always think we're going to slide off of them when we sit down on them, which is always fun. Um, but we definitely need to get some new chairs <laughs> before next year. Yeah, Daniela is currently learning her Shakespeare lines, and we're all learning our Shakespeare lines because we have a lot of Shakespeare lines to learn. So we're cracking on with that. We're getting it done. And yeah, I'm gonna make some porridge because I'm really hungry. So see you guys in a bit when we're getting ready for class. Oh yeah, so as I mentioned in the introduction yesterday, obviously we're doing American clock. Uh, we have our duologues on Thursday. Do them on Thursday? Yeah, we do them on Thursday, so just make sure I know my lines for that. And once that's out of the way, that's one less thing to worry about, so I'm gonna make sure we learn them. <sighs> one less problem. <laughs> Okay, so there has been a slight change in plan. This morning, we're supposed to have seen it for an hour and then have a free, but one of our friends has cancelled at the last minute and they're saying that me and Maddie can do a duet instead. How are we feeling about that, Maddie? Yeah. <laughs> Yay! We need to wake up first because I'm so tired. Yeah, I need a warm up. We need a good vocal warm up because me and Maddie are doing I Still Believe from Miss Saigon. I, I suggested and I was like, Maddie, we, we can do the song. It's, it's a beautiful song. You look forward to giving it a try. Shout out to Kieran. Hell yeah, get to smash it, hit those high notes, give it a nice bit of vibrato this morning. But I need to wake up first. We're gonna do duets instead of having a break. So now I need to go make sure I've warmed up. So I'll catch you guys in a bit for singing. So yeah, I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm feeling refreshed, I've had a shower, and I'm just gonna start getting ready and just doing my face. My acne has been really bad recently, and it's really annoying. Yeah, the struggles of being a young adult with a stressful lifestyle. I really need to start eating better. That's probably the main cause, to be honest. Like, I get really tired during the week. And after a long, busy day of class, I really don't want to be coming home and cooking sometimes. We all go through that. It's perfectly normal. But then I realise, oh, I wonder why I'm still feeling rubbish all the time. It's because I'm not eating properly and I'm just eating takeaways. So I'm trying to make a conscious effort to not do that this term. Try and do a lot more home cooking and just take care of myself a little bit better and hopefully it will improve my skin, I hope. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish my makeup. I just finished doing my stuff. The group chat is popping off. Cool. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna carry on getting ready. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna sort the rest of my face out. Get my stuff together, pack my bag, and then we will head off to Gateway Building for singing. I get my score sheet, I need to remember that. I need to remember my gloves because I'm going straight to the studio after class. Got fights on film, so I need my sword gloves, my knee pads, my deodorant, because my god, it gets warm in that class. But uh, catch you guys in a sec.
Today. Feeling good? Very well. Done our duets, well. feeling good, feeling happy. Feeling Ayana, well. how are you feeling after singing? Yeah, good. Very good. It was feeling very good, good to listen today. Had a great time. We've got more things to learn. Oh, God, don't even <laughs> remind me. Oh, I feel a lot better after having lunch. So, now the lunch is done, singing is done, now we have fights on film this afternoon. Got four hours of it. So, I'm gonna change out of this, get my sweats back on, which I spend most of my time in on this course. And yeah, let's get ready to go for our afternoon lessons. Hello, welcome back to Studio One, where we play with weapons and do stuff. We're doing, what are we doing now? We're doing small sword now. We've got a fight on film now, and you're clicking buttons on the camera, so I feel like, am I meant to do something? Okay, it's fine, it's fine. You can keep this in. We're back in Studio One. We are doing weapon things today. What have we got? This is where we do all of our fights. All of our physical lessons. All of our combat lessons. In here. In our lovely big converted church. This church. This, this was church. I think this was the community hall. My guess. Maybe this was the big pew. I don't know. That's right now, of course. Oh, child. Uh, we were just saying about what we're going to do in Studio One. We're going to do some fight on film. We're going to do some fight on film today. I haven't seen Kyle. I haven't seen what we have. No, he's in. not in. Oh, no, he's not. He's got a job, isn't he? Okay, so let's go do some fun stuff. Welcome to Disney Channel. <laughs> and that is fights on film all done and dusted. Uh, today was a really good lesson. We're just finishing up choreography in preparation for our assessment. Uh, for our assessment, briefly, we get given piece of choreography, we learn it, we modify it to suit our needs, and yeah, we end up choreographing a scene and then we start putting a bit of character into it, a bit of narrative. We can add an ending involving, you know, crashes and falls and things like that and it's been really good it's definitely been a really challenging module it, it's hard to come up with your own choreography especially when you want it to be right and you want it to be logical and make sense for the scene like there's a lot to think about so i definitely think this has been a really challenging one it's one thing that i really appreciate about this course like oh this is quite an integral part of it that they really encourage you to make your own stuff. It's great if you're able to learn choreography, watch someone do it and then repeat it back and then do it well with skill and technique and all that stuff. But, you know, can you come up with your own? It's hard to start from scratch. It's great when you've got a stimulus, like you have a script and stuff and you can work around that. But when you just have a scene and an idea and you put a fight into that, or even better, you start with a fight and you build a fight scene around that, which is what we did for our devising project recently is the very first stimulus we got was that we had a fight scene we had to make and then the scene revolved around that. So that was interesting because I've not done it really in that order before. So that was fun because compared to Unarmed in first year, we were given a script that we'd found and then we put a fight scene into it. So we did the reverse of that. So that was really interesting. But yeah, no, fights on film. It's a long four hours. You know, when it's stretched across that time, you get enough time to work on stuff and that's great. But yeah, it definitely takes it out of you on a Tuesday afternoon when I'm just like, oh, my brain is fried. <laughs> I, I'm trying to focus and I'm like, okay, does it make sense? Does it work? Is my partner okay with what we're doing? All these things you have to think about. And yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what the final project is. When we come to our assessment, our teacher will film the scene with us and work through it and it's a continual assessment as always on this course which is great so you're not just all riding on that one shot of that being your entire grade so our, our teacher kyle will be continually assessing us and then seeing what our fight scenes look like towards the end how we've choreographed it how we've worked together in a partnership have we taken risks have we pushed out of our comfort zone 
you know, just marking on little things like that. Yeah, it's been fun. It's definitely a bit of exposure to the kind of professionalism that you'll expect in the industry. You know, we've done work with multiple opponents, working in really small, tight spaces, and how do you make choreography work when you can't just extend your arms fully and things like that. But yeah, no, I've really enjoyed it. That's done now. That's my final lesson of the day. I'm gonna sign off here. But thank you very much for joining me in a day in the life of a second year acting and stage combat student at East 15. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. You know where I am. And my Instagram is just below. Please give me a DM if you have any questions. As always, my inbox is always open. There have been quite a lot recently, which has been great. Here to answer all your questions that you have about drama school, the school in particular, the course, any other courses, I can point you in the right direction. But yeah, that is me all done here. Have a good 2023. Some more videos coming your way soon. And like I said, please like, share, and subscribe. Share with your friends. And yeah, that is me signing off. See you later.